Okay, so it's just gonna be a quick video on how to download Mass Effect Andromeda mods. Now I spent a good four hours, I said, to figure everything out and how this shit works. Cause uh, apparently the YouTube, there's just nothing up there to people to. I spent hours trying to figure out. Is one of them. I found these two people. By the way, both of them are girls. Uh, and, and they explain, uh, this one's not even in English, it's in Dutch. So he explains some of the stuff, a lot of it is like, uh, I didn't even understand, but I get the gist of it. And there was another girl, she and she explained some of the frost man, Frostbite uh, engine manager, mod manager, how it works, but she was also doing it for uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, but the modding c concept is similar. She was also using the another tool, which I also use the mod manager for Dragon Age, but that's a different mod manager. That's just for the Dragon Age. Anyways, uh, back to the point. So props to those girls. You guys did a great job uh, for me to learn it from you. Anyway, so what you're gonna need first is that um, you're gonna need uh, this thing. You go to Frost tool site. Uh, it, you can find it in the next Nexus mod manager. You can just Google. You go straight there. Now, if you come here under download, don't do analogy because it's not there. That's just like some DLL file that doesn't do nothing. You're gonna have to scroll a little bit down. Go to the actual website. You can go the from straight from Google to Nexus mod manager. It's up to you. But once you're here, click on download. I already downloaded, so I don't need to download now. What it did for me, it did not allow me to download it because it keeps saying there was a virus in there. There is no virus in there, at least not to my knowledge. What you wanted to do, you go to your Windows Defender or whatever server you use, protection server you use, go under virus and threat protection, go under threat history, and under here, you're gonna have this would pop up here, uh, something like that. So you click on there and it's gonna say allow you. You can able to, this is the old one, but uh, there was here, uh, different ones I already allow it so you're gonna have something different here and just click allow it and the next time you download you're gonna able to download it now once you download it just if you have I'm sure you have 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever you're using I'm using both and uh, just create a folder for it so it's all neat and they just put uh, ex uh, just put everything from the download and zip everything into the whatever folder you want it to now once the first time you launched it it's gonna ask you to find the executable of the game so i think you can mod other games as well i'm guessing but uh, of whatever was using the frost mod engine but but we're doing this for mass effect anyways the best way to do that just click on the mass effect short keys and bam we're already here just click here copy it and paste it in there whatever is asking skibidu and then press enter and voila you find the executable now you can also go by hand of course go to program file as 6 origin games blah 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 if you want to do that you can do that as well now once you're here, once you got everything running, you're gonna have this little key here that says import mods. Under import mods, uh, you can create the mod folder anywhere you want. I create it inside the Mass Effect Andromeda here. It's all nice and neat. And uh, here's the mod. This is where you download your mods. And, uh, is this is my mod folder now. Then you go ahead, go to wherever where you download your mods from, which I use the Nexus Mod Manager. It's really nice tool. Uh, of course, also give everybody props for doing the great job for them. Every time you can, if you have choice, support them, endorse them. Anyways, once you're here, you go wherever you might do You click here on menu download and you download the mod. Now, I'm downloading this called Long Lasting Tech Armor. Uh, some would say it's cheating or whatever, but hey, it doesn't matter. This is a single player game. Whatever makes you enjoy to play this game, download it, you know? And once you, I already download, so I'm not gonna download that. And once you download it, it's gonna be here. Then you just whatever mod you download it, you click on it and you extract the file. You extract. I haven't extract everything yet, so you extract the file. Just delete this. You don't really need this. Just a waste of time. Anyways, uh, inside your mod folder. And now, so let me go ahead and do this for now. Now, so you have your mod man, Frost mod manager is running, right? You click import. You find whatever mod you wanted to download. Uh, this is the last one download. We see the Mark Tech Armor. That's the one you want to download. Click on this, you open it. It's gonna say the mod was designed for a different patch version, but it doesn't matter. It said it for the last three as well, but they're still working, and I'm gonna prove it to you how it's working. And you click OK. Then what you do is that you select this, and then you add the mod. You add the mod in here, and now do here. The first time you will do this, it's going to do this little loading screen. I'm not sure what it's doing, reformatting them or whatever it's doing, but it's going to load a little bit extra. 
but after that's gonna go it nicely and then I'm guess you have to launch the game through the mod folder I have not tried launch it directly I'm guess you have to run it through the launch firmware so it's that's usually with how it works with some of the other ones but let's see maybe not I don't know you can try it both ways if you want to I'm gonna just be in a safe set and launch it through the game here we go we're launching the game and I'm gonna prove it to you because I have the massive inventory space size here right and I have it activated here so I have the skills upgrade uh, uh, more skills as well so once we go into the game come on come on all right so it's taking some time to load resume resume the game and I'm gonna show you that one of the mods uh, the other ones I can't really show until I play but that this one I can actually show it to you I don't even think I have the tech armor activated yet because I just started playing the game the only reason I even start playing is because there's a bunch of mods I can mess around with you know and make the game horrible like enjoyable that's one of the reasons I even play games these days all right come on okay so now we're in the game the the game the mod actually have a lot of reshaders but I think the Mass Effect Andromeda looks fantastic. The, there is no issue with graphics from my point of view. It looks amazing. So I'm not even messing around with that. Anyways, back to the story. Inventory. Bam. You see my inventory space 99999. That's a shit ton of inventory space, right? I'm guessing. So I have plenty of inventory. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say that the mods are actually working. And uh, that's the way to download the mods from Mass Effect Andromeda. Come on, next year out of the game. Anyways, that's the origin. This is where our game says. Anyways, we're back here, and yeah, this is it for the video. Just a short video on how to download Mass Effect and German mods.